guys welcome back okay so this video is really just something a little bit impromptu that i decided to sit down and do this morning because um i actually spend a lot of time in the mornings <laughs> looking at makeup swatching makeup loving on makeup comparing palettes different stuff like that why because i'm addicted to makeup but it actually started out with me trying to find palettes that are similar to the new Natasha Denona Love palette that's coming out. I've been rummaging through my <laughs> collection. This is what I do to try to talk myself out of buying things. And in doing so, you know, the more I play with makeup, that's the more that I want to actually use it. So I was looking at some different palettes to use today in a video or to create an eye look with. And I came across my Nabla Dreamy 2 palette. It's the Mystic palette that they came out with around the holidays. And it's so funny with this palette. I drooled over this palette and drooled over this palette for the longest and just did not want to pay the price for it. You guys know me. If I don't want to pay the price for something, I'm like, no, I'm not buying it. So, I didn't pick it up. Even when it went on sale, I did not pick it up. I was like, mm, no, no. For one, I'm not familiar with Nabla and their products. And for two, I was hearing kind of mixed reviews. Some people really like it, love it, think it's great. Some people are like, eh, it's not all that. So, you know, I'm like, eh, don't want to pay 35 or it seems like it was more than that around the holidays. I paid $35 for it on Ulta um recently but it seems like it was like in the 40s or something i could be wrong but seems like it was more expensive than that either way i still was like i don't want to pay 35 dollars for that when you break it down it's 12 shadows 35 bucks so it's not that big of a deal it's not that expensive for 12 shadows quality packaging very nice and the shadows and color scheme in here with the different textures look absolutely gorgeous so anyways this is a palette that i really really wanted to get but didn't want to pay the price so i decided i was going to go ahead and play with this today i'm like oh that's cute let me go ahead try it out see what's happening but as i looked at it more closely i was like you know this palette while it is gorgeous is really not that unique as far as color schemes go at least not in my opinion it doesn't really look that unique to me. I think the uniqueness comes in with the textures, the type of shimmers, the finishes, and all that stuff. Now, in looking through my collection to see, do I have any other palettes that look like this? I came across the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. And this is what this palette looks like. Let me see if I can show it without too much glare. But this is what this palette looks like from BH Cosmetics. Now, the difference is, of course, this is a more affordable brand. This palette was 16 bucks for 16 shadows. This one, 35 for 12 shadows. So this one is more than twice the cost of the BH Cosmetics. We're all familiar with, um, you know, BH Cosmetics being a more affordable brand. And some of their eyeshadow palettes are actually really, really nice. So... This is what the BH Cosmetics palette looks like. Now, although it doesn't look like an exact dupe by any means, you know, it has the same feel to it, but the Nabla looks like it goes a little bit deeper, has a little bit more gold tone shimmers in it, whereas the BH Cosmetics, their shimmers might be a little more on the pinky side or champagne side has more blues in here and it doesn't really have that deep deep dark shade like the nabla does so while this is not going to be an extensive comparison by any means because like i said this is just a little impromptu video that i wanted to do just looking at these two palettes comparing them and just seeing if someone likes this color scheme and is not willing or able to pay the 35 dollars price tag if this is a comparable option at all. So what I want to do is really just swatch these palettes, look at them, kind of compare the shadows, how they swatch and whatnot. And then from there, I'll decide if I want to actually do an eye look with either or both of these palettes and we'll go from there. So 
let's just go ahead and start this off by <laughs> swatching the Nabla palette because I'm very, very interested in this palette. I've seen gorgeous swatches of this palette, which is why I wanted it so bad. But I want to touch it and feel it for myself and see what's happening, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is hopefully I can keep track of the shades that I swatch. I kind of want to go like light to dark so that I can kind of keep certain shades together on my arm. And when I swatch the BH Cosmetics, I can kind of see if there are similar shades in the same gradient. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and get started. I am uh, probably going to just put the names on the screen because I don't feel like putting my glasses on, okay? <laughs> Okay, so this first shade from the Nabla palette is just a very light, creamy type matte, kind of like a bone colored matte shade. Next, we have a nice light camel shade. So as you can see, it's basically like very close to my skin tone, matte. Next, we have some very light, beautiful shimmer shades. That one looks kind of like a duochrome and this one here looks kind of like a taupey kind of shimmer shade next another couple of kind of gold tone bronzy shades okay so this one here is more like bronze and this one is more like a gold tone next we have like a pinky copper tone shimmer very pretty. Next, I want to move into these gorgeous, kind of like blue, purple tone shimmers. This one is a little bit more sparkly. It's not crumbly, it's just a little more sparkly. And lastly, these are the three darker, warm tone shades. So this one here is a matte. These, these two are, I think what they call, I'll put the name on the screen, but those are mattes as well, but it's like a, what is it? Latex matte, I believe. Yeah, latex matte formula. Very pretty. So this is what the whole Nabla palette looks like. Very nice, gorgeous color scheme. So just looking at this, I'm thinking that it might not really be that close to the BH Cosmetics. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just try to swatch the BH Cosmetics in a bit of a gradient as well, right below the Nabla shades. Okay, so first we have another cream colored matte. And we have a couple of light colored shimmers. So next, we have another light pinky toned shimmer. This looks like a bit of an orange toned shimmer. And this is kind of like a mauve dark tone matte shade. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do some of the blues before I move into the warmer shades. So this is a very bright blue matte a gorgeous kind of cobalt blue shimmer. And this one is more like a midnight blue shimmer, very similar in shade. Now going into the coppers and browns. This is a very pretty shimmer shadow. It's kind of like a red copper tone shimmer. This one is like a burnt orange type of brown. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a mixture between like a burnt orange and a brick brown. And this is just a basic chocolate brown. Very, very cool tone though. And lastly, we have what I think are probably the darkest shadows. Beautiful dark, um, gosh, what is that? Like a plum toned gray satin. 
This is a gorgeous dark burgundy matte shade here. And then lastly, this is basically like a black with green glitter in it. Absolutely gorgeous. So that is the whole palette swatched from the BH Cosmetics. That's actually a very, very gorgeous uh, color story. Now comparing it to the Nabla, I will say I did feel like the Nabla, I don't know, I can't even say that it swatched better to be honest with you, because the BH Cosmetics really didn't swatch that bad. But just looking at the color story here swatched on my arm, Although there are some slightly similar shades in the palettes, and I use that term very loosely, very slight, <laughs> of course, like the cream white shade, the bone shade. Um, these two shades are similar, but this is a shimmer and this is a matte. The blues look nothing like these glittery, shimmery, lavender tone uh, blue or purple shades in the Nabla, so that's totally different. Um, these shades are similar, but that's a matte and that's a shimmer. So, and this shade here, although you would look at it thinking it's quite similar to one of these, it's really different. <laughs> it really is, because even though it's kind of similar to this, it's a lot deeper, and it's kind of similar to that, it's too light. So, and it, you know, this green, Black and green is extremely unique. So me just taking the time to sit here and swatch it on my arm, I'm seeing, yeah, these palettes are nothing alike, completely different, but they're both extremely beautiful in their own right. Now, which one do I want to play around in first? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking the BH Cosmetics, because although the Nabla is gorgeous, it's honestly a little bit more boring to me compared to the BH Cosmetics. So yeah, but I really had a good time swatching these and checking them out because the curiosity was just there. Like, are these similar or not? And honestly, just from swatching it, I would have to say no, <laughs> you know, so it's kind of tricky when you're looking at palettes and stuff online and in pictures and things like that. Sometimes they might look like, oh, those are the same. Those are similar. But when you get down to it, swatching them and actually putting them on your eyes, they can look completely and totally different. So I really had a good time checking these two palettes out, you guys. Let me know if you like this type of content, you know, if it gets your goat. I love swatching palettes. I can swatch them all day and compare different palettes. But let me know if this is something that you guys like to see, if you're interested. You know, give me a big thumbs up and say, hey, KK, this was cool. I really enjoyed this. And I will, you know, just slide some of these into my content occasionally. But yeah, I'm really glad I did it because I actually thought that these might be similar and they're nothing alike. <laughs> so yeah, since I do have blank eyes, I probably will go ahead and do a look with one of these and you guys will catch that video soon. But that is it for this one. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!